managers need to improve team results. This is a manager's main goal. The main reason a company employs a manager in the first place is to improve team results by more than the cost of employing them. Yet everyone looks at team results and output to assess how well a manager is doing their job. Of all the team members, the manager has by far the biggest impact on team performance. A good skilled manager with a good attitude can significantly increase team performance. A poor manager can destroy team performance. For the company, the quickest, easiest and cheapest way to improve team performance is to improve how well the team is managed. The company can do this by changing the manager or improving the skills of the manager. Lastly, as a manager, you don't improve team performance directly by personally creating results and output. You increase team performance by helping each team member improve their personal output. All of this results in a lot of pressure on managers to increase team performance or if you take over a high performing team, maintaining team performance. I have worked in many top companies and household names. I've taken over underperforming teams in different companies that delivered poor results and output and transformed them into high performing teams, increasing the measurable results by several hundred percent. I've also won best team prizes at national and company level. Build good management skills and use them in the right way and you could achieve similar great results with your team. In my experience, the majority of teams are really a collection of individuals working alongside each other. They are not teams in the true sense of the word. You know, teams, generally speaking, produce much better results and output than a group of individuals. This gives a manager the, with the right approach to creating and motivating teams a great opportunity to publicly demonstrate how much they can improve team results. To help you improve team results, I'm sharing four ways to help your team to their best results. Firstly, serve your team. Secondly, live your own expectations. Third, leverage your time intelligently. And fourth, help your team be a team. I explain why these principles dramatically improve team results when put into practice well and share practical tips for how to take these principles and turn them into day-to-day -day actions. The first way to help your team to their best results is to serve your team. As soon as you accept that a manager's performance is directly tied to their team's performance, then your job becomes all about your team and not you. Improving your team's results is the best way to improve how everyone else views your performance and it creates compelling reasons for your company to reward you personally. I've worked in a lot of great companies and spent time observing all the managers around me and of course experience being managed by many different bosses. The very best managers I've seen all serve their teams. They work very hard for their teams. They work hard to remove problems, to coordinate activities, to promote good behaviours and standards that help everyone else be better. The best managers are very active in managing others. They don't spend much time sitting in their offices or at their desks doing their own work. They spend as much time as practical with their team members, you know, listening, understanding, advising and teaching. The great managers treat each person as an individual and tailor their management approach to the team members' needs. With some, they are very hands off. With others, they are diving into the detail with their team members and helping them work out how to overcome challenges. They also make the tough decisions and take the hard choices, even when it costs them personally. They are kind, diplomatic, considerate, yet won't tolerate behavior or performance that damages teamwork and team results. Everything the very best managers do is in service of their teams. They do everything they sensibly can to help team members improve personal performance and thus improve team results. Serving your team is a great way to serve your own interests too. The second way to improve team results is to live your expectations. The very best managers and leaders set really clear expectations and goals and stick to them. They keep repeating their goals and expectations so no one in the team will forget them or get distracted for long. Average managers set goals and expectations that are a little bit fuzzy, or they change too often, or they cause confusion because they say and do different things. Average managers set goals but quickly get distracted themselves, or assume their job is done and it's the team member's job to keep focused on the goals. 
Setting really clear and consistent expectations and goals provides a lot of certainty, safety and permission to team members. When team members feel safe, they display more initiative and autonomy. They learn quicker. They make better decisions. In short, they perform a lot better. Setting really clear expectations, standards and goals is not easy. There are so many distractions for you and your team. Keeping clear goals in mind and demonstrating to the team that they remain important to you will keep them important for your team. Leading from the front is essential. If you're not living your expectations and goals, how can you ask team members to meet and beat them with any credibility? Set really clear expectations, standards and goals and live them as consistently as possible every day you can. My name is Jess Coles and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses teaching you how to be a great manager and build high performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below which you will find useful so do take a look at these. And if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe. The third way to help your team to their best results is to leverage your time intelligently. There are only so many hours and minutes in every day. This is fixed for you and your team. What is not fixed is how you and your team use the time available. As a manager, you need to work out how to use your time to improve team results by the biggest amount. The opportunities you have will be specific to you, so put the time in to prioritise all the opportunities you can find and work on the best first. Some of the best areas that managers can leverage their time to create the biggest benefit for their team nearly always include firstly setting clear direction and goals for the team so everyone is working together and in a common direction. Secondly, removing problems team members are facing that stop them being as effective or reducing low value work being undertaken by the team. Third, making the right resources available at the right time for your team members so they work as effectively as possible. Fourth, improving the bottom 10 to 20% of team members, you know, those with below average performance or behavior. This increases the pressure on everyone to up their personal performance. Fifth, protecting the team and their goals, so they then spend as much time working on the most important value creating areas as possible. Sixth, encouraging communication and teamwork. You know, teams deliver more than groups of individuals. The better the understanding and relationship between team members, the better the teamwork. The more team members talk and work together to solve problems, the better the teamwork becomes. And then seventh, train and mentor team members to help them improve their skills faster and further. Most managers have more opportunities than time available to do them all. Leverage your time to maximise what the team can produce. This is great to improve team productivity and results. When you are publicly working hard for the good of the team, team members will work hard for you and each other. The fourth way to improve team results is to help your team be a team. Most groups of individuals deliver better results and more output when they work as a team. The basics of a teamwork include, firstly, team members talk to each other a lot, so everything being done in the team is coordinated carefully, which in turn increases speed of output. A good team cannot work in silence. Expect a lot of talking and interaction. Secondly, everyone in the team works to meet and beat the standards set by the manager and each other. This results in less mistakes, less rework, less frustrations, all of which increase the quality and speed of output. Third, team members are quick to help each other. You know, it might be solving problems or lending a hand to an overworked colleague. They want to help because they know they will get help quickly in return when they need it. Fourth, every team member trusts their colleagues to deliver what is needed when it is needed or to ask for help quickly high trust levels to quickly translate into higher output for the team. The manager has a massive impact on how the team works. The manager sets the expectations through what they say, the decisions they make, the actions they take and the behaviours they display. Here's some examples of how a manager encourages teamwork. Firstly, a manager encourages team members to talk and spend time at each other's desks, solving problems, sharing information, coordinating, helping, etc. Secondly, expects team members to help each other. 
a manager proactively looking to help team members at all times is a great way to set this expectation. Third, the manager communicates regularly in an open and honest way. The manager shares as much information as practical to help team members be more effective and more autonomous. Fourth, the manager works hard to set and maintain directions, expectations and goals at a team and individual level so everyone knows what is needed and by when. Fifth, a good manager praises good teamwork and gives corrective feedback about poor teamwork. Team members are incentivized to work more as a team as a result. Sixth, the manager rewards those working hard as a team and does not reward those who only look after themselves. The manager should show the team what good teamwork looks like through their own actions and behaviours. Teach team members how to be better at working in a team. Do everything you can to encourage the behaviours that increase teamwork. So in summary, as a manager you have the biggest impact on team performance compared to other team members and you should help your team to their best results. It is 100% in your interests to do everything you can to improve your team's performance as much as possible. The good news is there is a lot you can do to improve team results regardless of who is in your team and where you work. The four principles we've covered today are firstly serve your team, secondly live your own expectations, third leverage your time intelligently and fourth help your team be a team. I know from personal experience how important each of these actions are in improving team results and performance. Each of them requires work, a specific mindset and good management skills to put into place effectively. Do your best to help your team and your team will help you in return. If you have any questions to improve team results, four ways to help your team to their best results, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Visit us at enhance.training and take a look at all our courses to improve your management skills and how well you use them. Invest in your own ability to get more from your team and you'll be investing in your own career progress. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.